five, four, three, two. Good morning, OG Lions. I'm Kayla. And I'm Rebecca. Today is Friday, April 20th, 2018. Today for lunch is a Tampa's own Cuban burrito, All-American hot dog, Tampa Bay Ray Stadium salad, Greenhouse Gourmet sandwich, and salad. There's a volleyball and football game at Blake against Rampello starting at 6. Don't forget to attend. Also, be sure to study for the math FSAs coming up next week. Today's first story is Mr. Ritchie with the teacher feature. TV. Today on the teacher feature, we will be interviewing Mr. Ricci. What is your favorite lesson to teach? If we're talking about U.S. history, I'm definitely about the Civil War. If we're talking about civics, one of my favorite things to talk about civics is the amendments. And if we were in world history or ancient civilizations, the ancient Greeks. What is your favorite activity to do with your students? Oh, um, I actually like just talking with them. You know, it, it, it seems weird, it's not like an activity, but being able to talk to my students and, and pull out their inner weird um, really makes things awesome. And I got a lot of weird students. What's your favorite way to reward students? You know, um, it's weird, but you know, a lot of teachers will give donuts, other teachers will, you know, give out candy or something. But the one thing that's extraordinarily awkward to me and, you know, super valuable is a hug, you know, because if I give a hug, you have truly earned that hug. What is your most exciting moment at school? I want to say the most exciting thing was the first day I put Chewy on and was able to walk around campus and like peek into windows and, you know, watching the kids all freak out. And when we had like the, the parade line, you know, I, was, I found a bell. Um, in school and Evelyn and I we actually led the parade out as Beauty and the Beast. Um, I think that was pretty awesome. What are some of your hobbies? Uh, hobbies, um, some weird stuff. Uh, you know most of you guys know that I do the costuming and the, the collecting of that. Uh, I'm a big bottle cap fan. Um, I have lots of bottle caps from you know different generations of sodas. Uh, and uh, other things from across generations and probably um, the weirdest hobby is uh, beard growing um, as you can tell um, about five months in and can't wait to see what the next five months are going to look like. Thank you. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Ricci? Um, he makes our class really fun instead of boring. We are so lucky to have you as an OG teacher. Today is National Protest Day. Here is Emmy, Alicia, and Brayla for the story. Yes, I very much am in support of it because it will be organized and students will all have the same message and we've invited um, teachers to kind of guide us along with students leading the organization so that the message is clear and most importantly it will be uh, centered around not missing instruction which is obviously important to me.
Again, I support students expressing themselves appropriately. Um, if it's going to be organized and there's going to be a program and um, students are there for the right reasons and not just using it as an excuse to get out of class, then I have no problem with it, as long as it doesn't become a disruption or a distraction to teaching and learning on campus. So about the protests. I think, yeah, everybody should take it seriously, because I mean, people, you lose people all the time, and it's not good. Um, I want people to like take it seriously because like people die every day so like for people to be out there like playing around with their friends like they don't get to see them for four minutes like seven six seven times a day like it makes no sense because people are actually dying and nobody actually like people don't care and like me I know it's important to me because I care about society I want to grow up in a good world so yeah that's it. I think that it's good that everyone's sharing what they believe is right, and I think that change needs to happen, and it's good. And then is that what Hello, today at 2.30 through 2.50, there will be a student program down in the uh, courtyard. Please, when you hear their announcement, to go down and uh, stand around the stage. We will have student government and a few other students speaking on some different issues uh, that's occurring in our nation right now. Please be respectful during the protest and wait for the announcement to be called. The next story is the elective showcase featuring dance. Some journalism students have this story. Do you like Pride and why? I like Pride because we get to do a bunch of performances and we get like a lot of opportunities that are like fun and yeah. Yes. I love Pride because I like to dance and I love my friends. Yes, because I like having all the extra opportunities and hanging out with my friends. Oh! Did you come to Orange Row for dance? Yes. Why? Because dance is life. Yes, because I wanted to continue dancing more. For dance, because I love to dance. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what Pride was when I came, but I auditioned and I thought I did bad, but I guess not. Yes, I wanted to be in Pride because I'm the best and I'm a great dancer. Yes, I wanted to. Make sure to see the Orange Grove dancers perform May 5th at Blake High School. Hope these riddles give you a good laugh. Up next is the Riddle of the Week. Uh, well, the months have changed on the year of her birthday every 20 years. She was born in the southern hemisphere. Oh, good for her. <laughs> oh, oh, are you serious? Place is not determined by what place is in front or behind, but how you will get finished. So I would say you're probably going to be in 16th place. thinking of yellow snow or white snow. So yellow snow we want to keep away from the white snow. We would want to refer to that as not white but as um, gray. White. 
there are clouds and they are colorless all right this is a tricky one this is probably gonna be the hardest one you will ask me but i will answer in one answer only that this can be answered in and that they are pink <laughs> ohio you might get soy milk and california you might get uh coffee beans coffee but and if we're talking about florida because that I used to work on a cow pasture. Uh, we would give them Gatorade. Stay hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it would really be more of the question to the word is the cemetery can't bury the people that live in Tampa, right? <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! We did it! Those riddles sure were stumpers. You are no longer able to online order a yearbook, but they're going to be for sale for $40 during mid May. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great day, day, OG Lions. Lions. Roar.